Now that we have gotten our aspirin, it's time to test the purity of it. So to do that, we are going to use an iron 3 chloride test. The iron 3 chloride test will test positive for enols. And enol is a functional group that combines an alcohol and an alkene. A positive test would give a purple color for an enol. If we look back at our structures for our products and reactants, we can see that we have this functional group on salicyclic acid, but not on aspirin. What we are hoping for is a negative test. Our sample should not turn purple. All right, so now let's get started with the test. What we have for this test is we have our iron 3 chloride. We have ethanol. The ethanol will be used to solubilize our dried powder aspirin, which is shown in the watch glass. And then what's shown in the crucible is crushed up expired aspirin. And we'll get to why we have that for this test in a second. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that our ethanol is not contaminated. To do that in the first well, we are going to take our iron 3 chloride and we're going to take our ethanol. If our ethanol is not contaminated, it should stay yellowish brown, which as you can see, it is yellowish brown, meaning our ethanol is not contaminated. So then in our next well, we will take some aspirin and then mix it with the ethanol followed by the iron 3 chloride. As we can see, we have a very pure sample of aspirin that we made because our sample did not change colors. Next, we are going to take some expired aspirin and see what color we get. As you can see with the expired aspirin, we get a pretty dark purple there, showing that our aspirin actually decomposed back into salicyclic acid. This shows why we should never take expired medications because the compound that we think we are ingesting into our systems may actually be something completely different. Thank you for joining me during our synthesis of aspirin today.